welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at making predictions about rates from graphs. I'm going to talk you through two examples and then give you an example to try. This first example is a reaction between zinc and hydrochloric acid. We've followed the reaction with time and taken uh, a measurement of gas produced to produce this graph here. So the black line is the basic graph that we're comparing to. So this is 10 grams of zinc powder with excess 2 molar hydrochloric acid. This means that all of the zinc will react with the hydrochloric acid that we have there. First of all, we're going to look at the purple line. So the purple line you can see here is steeper than the black line. This means that the purple line must be faster. So there are a few ways that this could happen. We can see here that we are ending at the same point uh, as the black line, which means we're getting the same volume of gas produced. So we must still have 10 grams of zinc. And this must still be in the powdered form as well, because lumps would be slower rather than faster. So the two ways to make this faster would be to increase the HCl, concentration or to increase the temperature. So for example this might be 3 molar HCl or a higher temperature. Let's now look at the red line. The red line is not as steep as the black line so it is slower but it finishes at the same point so we're still getting the same amount of gas given off so we must still have 10 grams of zinc. And in this case, they may be lumps with the HCl still 2 molar. Or perhaps we have a lower concentration of HCl still in, ex in excess. Or a lower temperature. Finally, let's look at the green line. So the green line here is roughly the same, a little bit slower and we're getting half as much gas given off. This means that we must have half as much zinc, so our HCl isn't making any difference here as it's in excess. So we must have five grams of zinc in this case. And as the initial speed here is not much slower, it is probably still powder. And the rest of the conditions are the same, so still two molar HCl. Let's have a look at another example. In this example, we have reversed the situation. So we've got excess copper carbonate, which means that it won't all react, and 50 mils of one molar HCl. So that will all react as it's not in excess. And it states in this question that all lines are at 40 degrees. So you know that we haven't made any changes to the temperature. So again, the black line is the basic reaction there. So you can see the curve and then finishing off here. So if we start by looking at the red line, the red line is steeper, so it's faster, but it finishes at the same point. This means that we still have um, 50 milliliters of one molar acid, but this time we're using powdered copper carbonate. Looking at the green line next, you can see here that this finishes much higher up. In fact, it is double the um, height of the black line, which means we're getting double the amount of gas produced. So to be able to produce double the amount of gas, we must have had more acid present. So either we have two molar acid and still have 50 mils, or we may have 100 mils of acid to be able to produce uh, twice as much gas from the copper carbonate. Finally, looking at the purple line. So the purple line is down here, and you can see that this is half the uh, gas produced from the black line. So for this one, we will have used either a lower concentration of acid, or a lower volume of the original acid. 
here's an example for you to try. Try and match the lines to the different scenarios that we have here. So the black line, this one here, is 2 grams of magnesium strips with excess 1 molar sulfuric acid at 20 degrees. Pause the video now and try and match up the lines. Looking at the first uh, line that we have here, 2 grams of magnesium strips, excess 1 molar sulfuric acid at 40 degrees, so almost the same conditions as the black line. The only thing we've changed is the temperature, so it'll be faster, but it'll still produce the same amount of gas, so that one would be the red line. The next line here, 1 gram of magnesium powder with excess 1 molar sulfuric acid in uh, 20 degrees. So again, similar conditions. The only thing we've changed is we've made the magnesium as a powder and we've halved how much there is there. So it's going to go faster, but it's going to produce half as much uh, gas. So this one will be our purple line here. For the next line, we have 3 grams of magnesium strips and excess 2 molar sulfuric acid at 20 degrees. So similar conditions in terms of temperature. We have more magnesium and the acid is more concentrated. So in terms of gas produced, we will get more because we've got 3 grams. So the only one that is more is the green line. And that leaves us with the last line. So 2 grams of magnesium strips as we had in the first one, excess 0.5 molar acid and it's at 10 degrees so it's going to be significantly slower so that will be the blue line. Thank you for watching my video, I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem for regular updates on new videos. Bye for now!